Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Welcome to, uh, well, we've had some arguments of whether this is the ninth annual or the tenth annual um, uh, symposium. We know it's been going on for ten years. We're just not sure if we've actually had ten of them. Um, but regardless, we started this in 2003, and uh, or 2004 was the first one. So, um, and, and it has continued to be very much the format that we have right here, which is we try to split this evenly between people from industry and people from academia, but almost everybody is someone who lives on the border of those spaces, people who do a lot of thinking about the, the work that they do and the way that impacts the, the organizations and the people around them. Um, just out of curiosity, I mean, I actually know the answer to this, so it's not curiosity for me, but for other people, how many of you have never been to one of the social computing symposiums before? So, this is not, and, and that's pretty much the common theme. We don't want this to be just a gathering of people who all know each other and have all talked to each other and have all heard the same stories over and over again. We want people to be learning from each other. As a result, there's not going to be very much of the people standing up in front of the room and talking at you. There's going to be short presentations that give you a chance to, to think about big issues, and then lots of time for us to have conversations, either here in the big room or in breakout rooms, depending on the session. So uh, there's also plenty of break time built in and plenty of social time built in, because what generally happens is that you get this many smart, interesting people in a room together, and what they really want to do is talk to each other, not be talked at. And we're going to try to facilitate that as much as we can. Um, there's sort of two rules for getting invited to this in general. One one is that one of the people organizing it needs to think that you're one of the smartest people they know in the stuff that you do. And the other is you need to not be an asshole. Right? Um, and that second one is really important. Oh, stop. Um, that it's important because you know this is a group of people who are inquisitive and curious and genuinely interested in what the people around them have to say. Um, these are people that want to hear what you're doing, that want to talk to you about what you're doing. So take advantage of that while you're here. Um, you know, I should say thank you, as always, to Lily, who makes this happen every year. We could not do this without her. Um, and uh, you may, you probably met Sarah when you were walking in. She can't hear us right now, but Sarah and Karen are the admins who make all of this run so smoothly. Um, they make me look good. Everybody thinks I'm this amazing organizer that I, you know, and in fact, I am totally relying on them to make me look this good. So, um, so when you see them, be sure to tell them thank you for all the stuff they do to make the, the details of this work. And where's George? Is George here? It's all right. Um, so George Agadow, who's the administrator here at uh, ITP, make sure that we have the space and that it's set up and that, you know, if there are things that we need or there are issues having to do with the space, um, he's the person who makes all that happen. So um, that said, what we're going to do now is I'm going to pass this round. And everybody's going to do a very brief introduction. Note, there are a lot of us. Make it a very brief introduction. Your name, where you're from, and if we, what, what's the talk that you would like to give? Okay. Uh, and if you don't want to give a talk, you can pass on that. You are not required. But if you, you know, I sent the email out and said, think about something you're passionate about that you'd like to talk about. It doesn't have to be work-related. It doesn't have to be related to the theme of the symposium. Um, you should take out uh, a piece of paper or at least take out an electronic document on which you can uh, take notes on what the various talks that sound interesting to you are. Uh, and at the end of this, I will ask you to write down your top five choices. Um, we'll probably pick more than five, but it's easier to collate the votes if you only vote for five. And by lunchtime, we will have figured out who the people are that will be giving the talks this evening when we get to the Torch Club, okay? All right, so which corner of the room should I start in? Who am I gonna pick? <laughs> I am going to start with Tom. <laughs> 
Hello. Oh, Jesus. Hello, New York. There we go. Uh, I'm Tom Coates. I work for Product Club, a new company I've just started, and I'm not going to talk about anything. Yes, you are. Talk. All right. Uh, my name is... Are we forcing you? Okay. Uh, my name is Kevin Driscoll. I'm a PhD candidate at, in communication at USC. And um, the thing that I would like to talk about is not boring phones. So niche phones, phones that look interesting in your hand that are not just pieces of glass. Hi, I'm Anya Kamenetz. I write uh, about education and learning. And I write for Fast Company Magazine, among other places. And uh, I'm interested, I would love to talk to you about uh, situated and informal learning, how people learn without schools through the lens of midwives in Mexico. Hey, I'm Gilad. I'm a data scientist at a startup in New York City called Social Flow. And if I were to give a talk, I would talk about buying audiences. So how do people buy followers on Twitter and what they get from it? Hi there, my name is Phil Grohman. I was actually asked by George to come down today. I'm from ITP, so I'm currently studying here on this master's program. And we've just got a social game running on the back screens here. Um, so it's for a live audience to participate in a game in real time. We can support 120 simultaneous players on this screen, so if you get a chance, do check it out. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jessa Lingle. I'm in the PhD program at Rutgers in Library and Information Science. And uh, how many people are library users writ broad? Right, there's actually more libraries in this country than um, McDonald's. So I would, so we could talk about that. And what I'd like to talk to you about is something called weeding or deaccessioning, which is when you take books out of the library. So normally I would talk to you about how we do that and then we would all together come up with a better way of doing that. How would we take books out of the library and do awesome things with them? Hey everyone, I'm Mike Anony. I'm a faculty member at USC in the communications school. Um, I was going to talk to you, so last weekend I actually went on a tour of one of San Francisco's wastewater treatment facilities, their sewage plant. Um, so I was going to talk to you about that as infrastructure because I think a lot about that, but I didn't put it together, so honestly, all I have is a bunch of pictures of shit to show you. So I could, I could do that if you're interested, but that's about it. That's about it. So. Oh, oh my God, books and shit. Um, I'm Mary Gray. I'm a senior researcher at Microsoft Research New England and a faculty member at Indiana University. Uh, I work on politics of visibility and queer youth in rural United States. Um, I don't want to talk. I want to listen. So I'm not proposing a talk. Huh? Hi, my name is Andres Monroy Hernandez, and I'm a researcher in uh, Microsoft Research in Fuse Labs. And I didn't prepare anything, but if there was something that I will talk about, is something that we did last week. Uh, we had a Maker Fest uh, in MSR, and one of the things we did was make uh, tangible and tactile and, and edible representations of big data. So <laughs> we'll show some of the things we did. Uh, hi, um, I'm Andy Phelps. I run the School of Interactive Games and Media at RIT. Um, I didn't prepare anything, but I've been thinking a lot about the games that my kids are playing and why they're playing them and how that's changing our entire family. You want to go down? Yeah, that's that's down. Oh, I sorry. Up. I messed up. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, I thought I was going to get out of talking. I'm Catherine Isbister. I'm the research director of the Game Innovation Lab down at NYU Poly, and I'm also on faculty here in Tisch, but in the Game Center, which is newly formed. And I, too, have no interest in giving a talk, and I'm happy to listen. I'm Karen Levy. I'm a PhD student at so in sociology at Princeton University. Um, and today is actually my first day back from maternity leave after just having my first kid. Thank you. So I'm probably not intellectually astute enough right now to give you guys a good talk. But if I were to give you a talk, it would probably be about baby shit. <laughs> which is the thing I'm most passionate about at the moment. Um, I'm Joshua Corman. I work in the private sector as a security researcher for hackers for the last 10 plus years. And uh, you already have to listen to me on Friday about anonymous and hackers, so I'm not going to punish you a second time. Hello, I'm Gabriella, uh, also known as Biella. I'm a professor at McGill who works on computer hackers, and I'm also on the panel anonymous and I will be using a lot of aphorisms from Nietzsche to talk about the aphorisms of anonymous. 
Uh, my name is Brian Knappenberger. I'm a uh, writer, director, documentary filmmaker. I made a film last year called We Are Legion, the story of the hacktivists. And I thought I would say for my five minute talk, uh, talk a little bit about the kind of lessons, problems, potential I learned from distributing uh, that film uh, independently last year online, including lots of piracy. Hi, I'm Eden Litt. I'm a PhD student at Northwestern University in the Media Technology and Society program, and I'm totally gonna be selfish and not give a talk. I'm Becky Bermont. I'm here from the Rhode Island School of Design. Uh, I recently moved out of the city into the country and could talk to you about the politics of the backyard birding community in my new backyard. I'm Colleen Estrada, I'm a designer, and if I were to give a talk, I'm with Fuse Labs, um, I would talk about the power of gut feelings and um, how almost like it's like an anti-data thought because we're all obsessed with how data can make us decide everything, but gut feelings are really where it's at, and I want to remind you guys of that. I'm Anand Gerdardas, I'm a writer, I write a column in the New York Times, and. Uh, right now a book about Texas, uh, ongoing, and I am not gonna give a speech today, but I look forward to all of your speeches about shit. <laughs> I'm Trisha Wong, and uh, I'm a sociologist, and my home institution is UC San Diego, but really where I've been over the last seven years is traveling around the world trying to research what youth are doing online, with most of my time being spent in China, and I would love to give a talk today about my research, because uh, about what some of my findings since I've just returned from the field. And primarily most, most research on Western youth shows that their online practices are more or less consistent with their offline lives. And I have found something totally different and I would love to tell you about that, but you won't know unless you vote for my talk. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm Baratunde Thurston. I'm here to threaten you into voting for my talk. Uh, <laughs> I'm a uh, comedian and an author. I wrote a book called How to Be Black. I'm the founder of a company called Cultivated Wit, a creative tech startup focusing on humor and digital interaction. I have no talk because I spend uh, all my life talking, but uh, I'm recently back from maternity leave myself. I gave birth to a little baby, uh, and I want to talk about the miracle of that happening to me. Take that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, um, I'm Belinda Thurston, and I'm the sibling of said Baratunde. Uh, I am a 20, uh, uh, retired now, a uh, 20 year journalist uh, who has uh, created a donation based yoga studio in Lansing, Michigan, the state capital of Michigan, um, and also the executive director of a nonprofit that will extend uh, yoga services to the homeless, domestic violence um, victims, uh, those who are in substance recovery, and at risk youth. Um, if I speak, uh, I guess I would like to talk about uh, the role that we play um, connecting uh, services and uh, systems that you might not have thought can actually serve community uh, that are desperately in need. So maybe give you a different view of what yoga can do. Thank you. I'm Liz Liddy, Dean of the iSchool at Syracuse, and the thing I'm passionate about is student startups. I'm interested. We have decided we don't teach entrepreneurship, we do entrepreneurship. So I'd be glad to share some of our story with you. Hi, I'm Carrie Carajalios at the University of Illinois, um, area of social computing. Um, one of the things that I'm interested in more discussing than speaking about is how to be a happy and productive introvert in social media. <laughs> You're done. I'm Lee Rainey, director of the Pew Internet and American Life Project. You'll hear enough from me later on. And as, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk is one of the seven banned words at Pew. So I'm happy to hear from you all of the s asterisk, asterisk, asterisk stuff that Pew should do, but we can't say that word. <laughs> uh, my name is Jeff Hancock. I'm uh, at Cornell University. I study psychology of social media. I've been thinking a lot about uh, how many humans have lived while we've been speaking and talking, and uh, it's a surprising number. And um, if you'd like to know more about how long and how many humans have been talking, we could talk about that. Nah. <laughs> so. <laughs> so 
Uh, my name is Cliff Lampy. I'm a professor at the University of Michigan School of Information. Um, I would like to talk about babies because I also have a newborn, and uh, I did not deliver them like uh, like others did, though. So, uh, I, but what I would really like to talk about, I've been thinking a lot lately about how to get the ivory tower broken down. How do we get academics out of academia and out back into the real world? And there are some challenges to productive town-gown relationships and uh, uh, academia industry relationships. So, I'd like to talk about that more. Hi, I'm Linda Stone. I'm a generalist, um, ex-Apple, ex-Microsoft, and now doing a combination of writing and speaking and advising. Um, there are two different areas that people talked to me about last night that I'd be happy to talk about either. One is uh, the importance of self-directed play, and something I just wrote is up on Boing Boing about that. Mass murderers, for example, um, in their play histories, childhood play histories, have no um, self-directed play experiences that they can describe. Um, so there's a lot of really interesting work by play scholars. Um, and then other work that I'm doing is in the physiology of computing. Some of you have heard the term screen apnea or email apnea or continuous partial attention. That's my work and the latest stuff that I'm doing there has to do with lymph and lymph stagnation when we sit um, because our major lymph ducts are here and here. And I believe, but I cannot prove that this is potentially related to the um, increase in cancer. Uh, I'm Andrea Forte. I'm an assistant professor at the iSchool at Drexel. Um, I'm totally unprepared to give a talk in this, but I have been thinking a lot about the construction of family identity. And there's a long history of families having an identity in communities. Um, how does that happen online? How do we construct family identities online? There's a lot about groups. There's a lot about individuals. Um, I have a student who's working with me looking at how people construct family histories in places like uh, Ancestry.com, Family Index, uh, Findagrave.com, if you've ever looked at that one. Um, and there are interesting things happening in these places that I think are going a little bit under the radar. It's also a huge business. Um, so I'm totally unprepared to talk about that, but <laughs> it's what I've been thinking about. I'm Sarita Yardi. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Michigan School of Information. And I was originally going to talk about why Jeff Hancock's talk would be boring and wrong. Um, <laughs> But I didn't know about the don't be an asshole rule yet, so I'm not going to do that. I can <laughs> instead, I'm going to talk about, if you ask, um, how I met my husband at Microsoft Research, which was totally under the radar and true story. <laughs> That's cute. Hi, I'm uh, Taya Weiss. I'm a professional wingsuit skydiver uh, and a hobbyist base jumper, AKA the little videos you guys have probably seen of people in the bat suits jumping off cliffs and flying around clouds and stuff. That's what I do. Yeah, so I'm on a panel later. I'll be talking about that. I think we have some video to show, but if anyone wants to hear more about why the hell anyone would leave a, a perfectly good other career to do that, I'd be happy to talk about it. Uh, hey, I'm Kevin Slavin. Um, after uh, many years and whatever the opposite of academia is, uh, in two weeks I start a new lab at uh, the Media Lab called Playful Systems, which is uh, official but not yet announced, so don't announce it. Um, uh, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think it, it might get announced before I start in two weeks. Um, uh, and, uh, and I talk a lot, so I'm just going to listen today. Hello, my name's Matt Bidolf. Uh, I've also, uh, along with Tom Coates, just started a small company in San Francisco called Product Club. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Yay. We're very big fans of each other's work. Um, I'm a software developer, kind of data guy. If I was going to give a talk, I'd talk about a, a bit of a side project I've been doing recently, um, data mining a, a sort of a uh, couple hundred thousand or million article archive of The Guardian with machine learning algorithms and trying to look for what words most indicate what topics and does that show any inherent biases or interesting uh, elements of how journalists write in The Guardian in the UK. Uh, I'm, I'm David Weinberger. I uh, work in the um, Harvard Library Innovation Lab and at the Harvard Berkman Center for Internet Society. 
Um, like Andrea, I'm completely unprepared to talk, but there's a topic that I'm interested in, would like to talk with people about, which is uh, as it's broad in, in Kuwait, uh, which is what the internet is, what time looks like, and especially the future looks like on the internet. I don't, don't mean in term of, terms of predictions, but sort of the nature of what it means to have a future. Hi, my name is Shelley Farnham. I'm a researcher, uh, Microsoft Research in Fuse Labs. I've been thinking a lot about uh, community. I'm a big community advocate. I believe in it. I think it is the key to our personal happiness, but also our success as a human species. And so I've been um, really immersed in how we as technologists can promote community, and in particular at the hyper-local level, your neighbors, how can we get you connected um, and in a position to respond effectively to all of the crazy things that are happening in our lives? Um, hi, I'm Elizabeth Churchill. I just joined eBay. Um, yes, very excited. Anyone who knows me knows I like people, I like technology, and I love shopping. So this is like ideal. I don't want to do a talk, but I will be seeking recruits for a field trip to go and find out what good shopping there is around here. <laughs> so, yay. Hello, my name's Kellen. I'm the CTO at Etsy. Uh, I spend a lot of time thinking about how you make large groups of people not hate each other and work well together. Um, you know, we have a team that went from uh, 25 people down to five people up to 170 people over the last three years. So I would be talking about something around, on those topics. Uh, we've been pulling a lot of work from just culture and resilient engineering recently. So something about that. I'm trapped. Sorry. Um, hi, my name is Heather Ford. I am a DPhil student at the Oxford Internet Institute. That's the same as a PhD. Um, and I study who gets banned and what gets deleted on Wikipedia. Um, and I'm going to be talking just now, so, and I'm way too serious for you people, so. Hi, I'm Stephen Levy, a uh, Wired Magazine and an author. Um, uh, rather than, you know, take time from some of the other great talks I'm, 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 I'm hearing here, I'll give you my talk in, in one or two sentences. In 10 years, most video that people watch will be live because the fact that you know these things can be live video to the world and cameras are everywhere and people will have persistent video links is going to just make a lot of big changes. So rather than just bullshit more on that, you fill in the blanks. So I did a column about this somewhere you could find. Uh, and I think it's under spoken about. I'm Alexa Clay. I'm the author of The Misfit Economy. And I'm interested in hearing all your stories about deviance and illicit activity. And I could talk about hermits. This is something I've been thinking a lot about recently, and maybe we could do an exercise around designing technology for hermits, which would be kind of an oxymoron, but could be productive. Hi, my name is Harper Reed. Um, I just got done doing something really crazy where I was uh, <clears throat> the CTO for President Obama's campaign. Um, and. Uh, Luckily, we won, which makes this conversation much better. Um, <laughs> and I'm currently very excited about decompression, disconnection, and uh, building teams, and starting from zero. Hi, I'm uh, Gina Trapani. I'm uh, an app developer. And right now, I'm working on an app called ThinkUp, which is an open source platform for giving you in insights into your social activity. And after trying for many years, my wife and I just had a baby. So I wanted to talk about how much social media sucks when you're having trouble having a kid. Uh, I'm Anil Dash. I'm a Genus co-founder at ThinkUp um, and uh, a blogger at dashes.com for the last 14, oh god, 14 years. Um, and what I'm sort of obsessed with is how we can bring lessons from the physical world, especially urbanism, to online communities, and in particular, uh, how we recapture some of the values and ideas we lost around web and web communities over the last decade. Hi there, I'm Morgan Ames. I'm a, I guess, computer sci recovering computer scientist, computer scientist turned social scientist. I'm a PhD student at uh, Stanford, the Stanford Communication Department, and I spent six months in South America studying One Laptop Per Child. And in doing the lit review for One Laptop Per Child, I did a big lit review of tech utopianism and was amazed at what I found from the last 
200 years. And so I collected up a whole bunch of these quotes, and I want to play My Little Pony or Porn Star, Tech Utopian Edition, for my talk. Hi there, my name is Panthea Lee. Uh, I'm with a company called Reboot. Um, we do program design in uh, international development, largely. Um, I don't need to talk about this to the group, um, but um, I'm stuck on a project, and so if people could ha help or have ideas. Um, we're working on a project in the tribal region of Pakistan, um, focused on uh, improving information systems there. It's a really sort of unique context with um, highly sort of restricted um, media ecosystem. So if anyone wants to talk to me about that, um, I would love any input. Hey, everyone. My name is Mark Kaigua. And um, yeah, I came all the way from Nairobi, Kenya, just to be here. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so please forgive the eye bags. Um, but uh, my, my talk, well, who I am first, I guess. Uh, I'll be up in a minute on, uh, with Trisha's panel, but I'm a blogger and technologist based in Nairobi. Um, from where I write, create, hack, and um, get up to all sorts of interesting things I should hope. Uh, and what I would talk about, if given the chance, if you've not had enough of me after the little session we do, is how a boy about this high, half naked, in an Indiana Jones production, went from that to creating a video game for Warner Brothers in Kenya, in Africa, my story. Thanks. Hi, I'm An Xiaomina. Um, you can call me An. I'm an artist, designer, and writer. And um, I'm starting a new site called The Civic Beat about um, the role of internet memes, internet humor, internet culture, and social and political expression. Places like China, Uganda, Philippines, um, and uh, the United States. Um, recently wrote about some of the similarities between the Trayvon Martin hoodie meme and uh, Chung Guang Chung, the blind activist lawyer who's studying law here at NYU. Um, and some of the similarities between those memes, I wrote about that in The Atlantic. Um, I'll be presenting some of my emerging research in uh, Uganda um, at, in Trisha's panel. but. Um, um, I'd love to just uh, chat with people, um, not as a presentation, but if, um, if any of you are familiar with other internet memes in a global context, I'd love to talk to you. Thank you. Hi, you all know who I am. Is this thing still on? Okay. Right. Um, hello. It, um, it's quieter now. Uh, so I'm not going to pitch a talk, but Alice Marwick couldn't be here this morning. She will be here later today, and she asked me to pitch her talk on her behalf. Um, so I will do what I hate to do, which I will read the text that somebody else gave me. Uh, the Hot Single Thrift Shop by Seattle rappers Macklemore and Ryan Lewis extols the virtues of buying your granddad's clothes at the thrift store down the road. As a lifelong thrifter, Ellis will talk briefly about the business of thrift stores, the recycled textile market, and its place in the global economy, and end with some hot tips for thrifting fabulous clothes at your local Goodwill or Value Village. Oh. Hi, I'm uh, Taylor Owen. Um, my own work is on uh, international relations, the intersection of digital technology and international relations. Um, but I've recently moved to the Columbia Journalism School to start as the research director of the new Tau Center for Digital Journalism. And we are in the process of rolling out a couple million dollars of grants, looking at innovative um, practitioners in the journalism world, intersecting with innovative researchers in the academic world. And I'd love to tell you how we can give you some of that. Uh, hi, I'm Lily. I, I'm not going to do a talk. But um, one thing that I'm interested in is every year we, uh, I run a research lab at Microsoft, and we have interns and things like that. For the academics in the crowd, I'd be really interested in hearing ideas on how we could do really different things um, for the ways we interact with students. So. Hi, I'm Red Burns. I'm part of ICP. And I couldn't resist it. I'm on sabbatical. And I'm still here. <laughs> uh, I'm Mimi Ito. I'm an anthropologist. I study geek culture and learning. Uh, I guess if I was going to do a talk, I might talk about uh, what it's like to start uh, learning how to surf in your 40s, uh, the role of the internet in that, as a kind of parable for how online networks mess with cool but highly exclusionary niche sub subcultures. Hi, I'm Tom Laird McConnell. Uh, I've been developing software for over 30 years and last five years with Lilly, making social experiences and Fuse Labs Microsoft Research. And as a developer, we, we are never asked to talk. 
And so I was a bit terrified by this prospect, and I, I was just like, oh, I, I would just make some shit up. And then that made me, th I, it made me think, uh, well, how do I make shit up? And so my talk, if I was forced to talk, and it would be not a good talk, would be uh, how I learned to make shit up by taking piano lessons. Hi, I'm John Borthwick from Betaworks. Um, I, I'd prefer to listen today, but um, if I have to talk, there's a, there's a story which I read yesterday morning, which I've been thinking about for two days, um, which is um, somebody wrote a short story about uh, as it's, it's written by a vet who just got back from, I think, Iraq. And it's, uh, it's called The Thank You War. And it's about, um, it's at, at a broad level, it's about how you say, th how authentic communication happens um, on social platforms. Um, specifically, it's about the tendency people have to say to him, thank you, and how he hates that. Um, you can find it if you're interested at it. It's a guy called Elliot who wrote it, and it's at uh, bit.ly slash um, thank you war. Um, so, uh, so if people are interested, I'd love to talk about that because I think that uh, as the speed and scale of communications increases, we tend to take sort of the most superficial social gestures and scale them. And they also sort of rip out a lot of the authenticity out of language and about out of social connections. So. Hi, my name is Dana Boyd. Um, I'm at Microsoft Research. Um, I'm not going to really talk today, but uh, I actually did something really funny this weekend, which is with Quinn Norton's amazing help, I managed to actually finish a draft of my book, which for those of you who have known me for a very long time, this is kind of a miracle. Um, if anybody is sick and twisted and actually wants to look at it uh, and give me feedback, you are more than welcome, but hopefully it will actually be coming out this year. Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Dan O'Sullivan from here at ITP. Um, uh, I'm a developer at heart, so I'm, I'm not much of a talker, but I would lobby for any of the talks around uh, previously mentioned about disrupting education. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm also an interloper here. I'm a researcher at ITP. My name is Sean Van Every. I'm working on live video prototypes from mobile devices. Uh, I'm looking at Stephen there. Um, but I, I'm just interloping. I have the privileged position of having an office down down the hall, so I can so I can sit there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brady Forrest. I'm Brady Forrest with Coastal Ventures and one of the organizers. Thanks for coming out. Um, I don't think I'll talk this year. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm Sherry Walters. Um, I'm with Microsoft uh, Research Fuse Labs as a community manager. Uh, I'm also getting an MFA in arts leadership. I think a lot about technology and the arts. I studied with Marcel Marceau about 10 years ago at his school uh, in Paris for about a year. Um, I'd love to perform a piece that he taught me. No yeah, no talking, <laughs> only mime. All right, all right, all right, fine. I I'm Tom Igo. I'm not actually here. I'm at the meeting next door, but um, uh, I run the physical computing program here at ITP. and. Um, work with Dan and uh, like listening to these talks, so I tend to do it as much as I can. All right, thanks. Uh, I'm Katie London, um, formerly area code making games these days at Zynga. And I guess the things I'm interested in are sensor data, big data, uh, driving offline participation and engagement and using playful ways to do that, uh, and simplicity. And I also am not really having the energy level to do a talk today, but if I were, it would be on happiness in five minutes and narrow-mindedness and how they go hand in hand. Hi, I'm Quinn Norton. I'm not entirely sure what I do, but it involves a lot of typing. Um, um, I wasn't going to give a talk, uh, but I did think, um, uh, I think I want to, I do think I want to propose um, a talk on uh, feral internet collectives and saving the world. Uh, in particular, Telecomics, which is a, a collective that I participate with, which has done a lot of work in the Middle East. Hi, I'm Ethan Zuckerman. I'm with the uh, Center for Civic Media uh, at MIT. Uh, in 2013, my New Year's resolution was to have more fun and to pay attention to what's really important. Uh, so I've been spending a lot of time in 2013 watching Sumo, and I would really love to share a talk with you on why fat guys wrestling in diapers can teach you something about globalization. 
Uh, hi, I'm Scott Fitzgerald. I'm an interloper, supposed to be next door as well. Uh, I'm a professor here um, shortly on my way to Abu Dhabi. So. Hi, I'm Zainab Tufekci. I'm an assistant professor at the University of North Carolina and currently a fellow at Princeton. I'm already on the panel, so I don't think I'd want to give a talk. But if I did, it would be that my last name really is K before C. It is Turkish. I apologize, people. It really is K before C. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Ford. Uh, I'm just not really affiliated with anything in particular right now. Uh, my main interest in life is people telling good stories in just about any medium and how they do it and how to get them to do more of it. Uh, if I was to give a talk, it would probably be about bookmarklets. And uh, that's it. Anybody else?